Fellas, I'm not gonna lie to you, they actually kind of cooked with the stream today. The new social space is called the Hall of Champions, and there is a lot of chests in here. It's a pretty nice looking room. If you look on some of the sides, there's actually this thing that you can do called a tune, because there's a lot of weapons that you're gonna be able to earn or re-earn, depending on how you look at it. For example, the mountaintop is coming back, confirmed. And this mountaintop now has its micro missile intrinsic as its frame, which is pretty cool. It's also gonna deal reduce self damage and you can use this thing to do quite some bunny hopping and send yourself flying in the air which i know a lot of people are going to find pretty darn fun right and one thing i want to note about all of these weapons that they noted in the live stream is that they are going to be revealing all of these weapons perk pools tomorrow in an article which we are definitely going to be looking at tomorrow however today this is a little appetizer of what some of these weapons are going to be able to offer but keep in mind this is a free update all of these weapons you will be able to enhance their perks when the final shape rolls around and you're going to be able to target farm all of these weapons via the attunement that we talked about a little earlier in the hall of champions another thing about all of these weapons is that during the into the light period at least the initial like hype phase before the final shape drops you're going to be able to earn the special oriented ones these are the ones with the golden glow at the weapons barrel and i i think these weapons are going to have the curated roles just know there are going to be limited versions of these weapons that drop in the initial hype period of into the light with the additional cosmetic look on the weapons barrel and then all of these weapons are going to be getting a new origin trait which i Honestly, sounds kind of gas. The origin trait is called Indomitability. Final blows grant grenade energy when playing on a light subclass. Meaning, if you're playing on a light subclass, all of these weapons basically just have a pseudo demolitionist built into them. That's a W. And then if you're on a dark subclass, you'll get melee energy, which can be pretty useful because a lot of the darkness subclasses give you multiple melee charges. So now that we have the basis for all of these weapons, let's go ahead and talk about some of the ones that they revealed because there's probably some that you were not expecting. One thing I want to get off immediately is the fact that this is not a meme. They are literally giving you the ability to get yourself a forbearance. Bar for bar. It is called forbearance. As they described it, it is the same exact version from Vow the Disciple, but without the Soul Drinker Origin trait, which in my opinion is kind of what pushes the Forbearance just even further into the S++ tier of weapons on top of everything else it does. This will still be an absolute ad clearing machine, but that Soul Drinker comes in handy. Another raid weapon that they showed that is going to be reprised is actually going to be the Succession. We're not going to spend any time talking about that too much. Of course, the Midnight Coup. We knew this was going to be here. This was We saw this in the last one. It had firefly and kinetic tremors pretty dope and the midnight coup also does get explosive payload in the third column which is also really awesome i'm telling you bro midnight coup it's back it's gonna cook y'all get ready the new and improved falling guillotine is gonna be able to roll eager edge although it's in the fourth column and we generally like to have our eager edge in the third column but we will shall see a little bit more tomorrow if y'all remember the old strangers rifle since the stranger is no longer a stranger they named the reissued version of it elsie's rifle it looks cool it's a pulse rifle you know, you're gonna like pulse rifles in pve but here it is. The other pulse rifle returning is the Blast Furnace. And they did show what the Blast Furnace was rocking with, with Head Seeker. And this perk, Last Stand, Weapon Final Blows Grant Bonus Damage. Melee and Grenade Final Blows Grant a larger damage bonus that can stack. Think of a better version of Golden Tricorn with this perk. Of course, Recluse. The more specialized golden version of it is exactly how it once was, at least the perk-wise. Feeding Frenzy Master of Arms. Although it's not the super cracked out Master of Arms that it used to be. However, they did show another Recluse, a non-specialized version of it with Dynamic Sway in the third column. Of course, we'll see all of its perk combos tomorrow for the lunas howl they did go ahead and rework the magnificent howl perk to where now it kind of acts like a legendary version of the hawkman number of precision final blows before reloading affects the total rounds granted with increased range and damage precision final blows with magnificent howl active extend the effect for additional rounds and then of course everybody's favorite heavy grenade launcher the edge transit which upon first glance it looks kind of like there's some juice here they have cascade point for this grenade launcher in the third column which hey could be pretty cool when we see this weapon's full perk pool if there's bait and switch in the fourth column you might be saved from cataphract jail so keep that in mind my friend and the last weapon i want to talk about is the new aged 
Hammerhead. They showed that it can roll with a double damage roll with Rampage in the third column and Killing Tally in the fourth column. And with it being a Void Adaptive Frame, Commemoration, your job is officially up for grabs and on the line. And of course, you will be able to farm these weapons from the new Onslaught game mode. And we still have some more stuff to look forward to in next week's live stream, along with they did confirm that in the final shape, we're gonna get a hundred more vault slots. We always love vault space here. And the last thing I wanna leave you off with, Super Black the Shader is super back. Y'all get hype. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on this down below in the comments. Remember, if you want to get your games to DLC for a cheaper price, make sure to have instant gaming. Top link in the description, along with the free monthly game giveaway. Y'all be safe, take care, consider subscribing. We'll see your beautiful faces in the next one. Adios.